couple of weeks ago, we told you how the Corner Haven homeless shelter in Hazard is struggling financially. Tonight, shelter employees met to discuss future plans for the home. New at 11, WYMT's Krista Frost attended the meeting and has the latest. Rebecca Moore has lived at Corner Haven for four days now. This is literally the only um, facility in the surrounding counties that offers homelessness shelter. She says now she sees how much the shelter has helped. In the beginning, though, she hesitated to go at all after hearing about the financial issues. That sends a red flag to anyone. If they don't have the funds to stay open through the day, how long can they stay open through the night? And can they even help you? Board members and people from the community met Thursday night to discuss the money problems the shelter is facing. Adrian Bush says that Corner Haven has already made massive changes to stay open. And we've made various inroads and we have cut expenses and cut and cut and cut, but it's to the point where we just can't cut anymore. There has to be additional revenue coming in for the shelter to continue. In an effort to help cut back on funds, the shelter began opening its doors to people only at night, and that started November 1st. But now they're saying that's just not enough. The shelter is now looking for help from the community. The point of all this is to make people aware, and if they want to contribute and they want to make sure that we have a full-service homeless shelter in Hazard and Perry County, that there's an opportunity to make that happen. In Perry County, Krista Frost, WYMT Mountain News. Buckhorn basketball coach John Noble was one of many from the community who offered to help at this meeting, offering concession money from school events. We're told the shelter needs to reach $200,000 within a month's time.